everyone, my name is Amber, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the sci-fi books that I want to read in 2023. So I didn't really read much sci-fi in 2022. I have a lot of it on my shelves and some of it I've been staring at for ages and I've decided I really, really want to read it. So I thought I'd show you which ones I'm hoping to read this year and you can tell me whether or not it's a good idea, which ones I should be most excited about and then I will get to them. So getting straight into the books, I'm actually kind of in the mood for a very specific kind of sci-fi. I really want some more Becky Chambers but unfortunately she, as far as I'm aware, isn't releasing anything this year so that's a shame but maybe we will get something towards the end of the year or at least next year. So jumping straight into the books because there are a lot of them, we have one that I'm already in the middle of and I am quite enjoying, that is Ocean's Echo by Everina Maxwell. This is a companion book to Winter's Orbit which I did quite enjoy. I think I gave it four stars at the time and I've kept it on one of my favourite shelves because I did enjoy the book a lot. This one I'm struggling with a little bit because the main character is very whiny and entitled so he had better go through a lot of character development otherwise I'm not going to be impressed but basically this is about a rich socialite who has been acting up and his aunt, I believe, is someone very high up in the government. And she tells him he has to bond mentally with a soldier who's super powerful in order to like keep him in line. And this bond is going to be permanent. Obviously, neither of them really want that, but the soldier is like, cool, I'll do it because it's my duty. Whereas Tenel, the socialite, is a rebel. He doesn't want to do that because it's awful to force someone to mentally bond with someone when they don't want to. So I'm about 80 pages into this at the moment and I am enjoying it, but I just hope that the main character sorts himself out because he is really annoying. I really really want to read Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. This one is about sentient spaceships. I know nothing else about it to be honest. I think it's set on a remote planet. I really don't know much about it so I can't really describe it to you but a lot of my friends really really enjoy this one and I've had it for years. I think my friend Justine bought this for me or I bought it because of her recommendation so I really should get to it soon and I'm hoping to get to it this year. I also really want to read Never Let Me Go. I don't know loads about this one but I think I had the twist spoiled for me. I think this is more on the literary side of science fiction. It's definitely not like hard extreme sci-fi like the others are. But I wanted to include it on this list because I've had this on my shelf for a year now and I really do want to get to it because I have read his other book which came out a couple of years ago, Clara and the Sun, and I enjoyed that enough to want to give this one a go even though the twist has been spoiled for me. Not that I'm bitter or anything. I also really really want to get to Caliban's War by James S. A. Corey. Corey. This is the second book in the Expanse series which I started years ago and I did really enjoy the first book. I gave it four stars. I just didn't continue because the length of this series really intimidated me. I think it's a series of nine books I think or maybe 12 who even knows I know it's a bunch of trilogies within a series I can't remember how many there actually are either way it's really freaking long and I am intimidated by it and this book itself is quite long as well but I did fly through the first one so I think I can get on board with this one and I really want to read it quite soon I think this one follows the same characters from the first book Jim Holden and co but I think also we meet new characters as well who will take us through more of the series more of the books in the series so I'm looking forward to reading about the expansion of this world and I can't wait to get to this one. I'm thinking about putting it on my March TBR. I've also got one that I picked up randomly from a workbook sale and it's uh, got my work payslip in it as well. <laughs> that is Semiosis. This one, I don't really know loads about it. It's about sentient somethings. It says here that escaping conflict on Earth, an idealistic group of settlers arrive on a distant planet with plans for an ideal society. I really like it when humans discover a new planet and they have grand plans to terraform and to colonise and then everything goes to shit because it's actually really bad for them to be there because the native species doesn't like them there. I read quite a few books in that sort of like sub-genre and I do really really enjoy them so I'm hoping I like this one. I think my friend Angela read this one fairly recently and really enjoyed it so we tend to have similar tastes in sci-fi, I would say. So I do think I will quite like this. I'm going to read, potentially, or DNF, <laughs> The Stars A Legion by Cameron Hurley. So I'm really hesitant to DNF this one because I've loved Cameron Hurley's other book, The Light Brigade. It was absolutely fantastic, but this has a very, very different feel and it's a struggle to get through. I'm currently about 80 pages into it and I started reading it as a buddy read and I just, it's, it's weird. I didn't get on with the writing style at all. So I'm probably gonna give it another like 20, 30 pages before I DNF it officially and get rid of it. But this is basically about battles in space while people fight to survive, I think. It's very confusing. I also really want to read The Last Astronaut. So I don't know much about this one at all. 
I just got it because of the vibes, I'm gonna be honest. It says here at the top that a huge alien object has entered the solar system and is now poised above Earth. It has made no attempt to communicate. I think this is on the thrillery side of sci-fi, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one because I love thrillers and protecting the Earth stories as well. I just really like sci-fi. It's a shame that I don't read more. Another one I really want to get to is Time Storm by Julie Cross. Before I do get to this, I do need to read the second book in the series, which is called Vortex. This is an old school YA series. The first one is called Tempest. It's about a young guy who I believe is in college and one day his girlfriend is shot and killed by what seems to be a government agency. He immediately travels back in time and realizes he has some sort of time travel power. He wants to try to prevent the same event from happening. It's a really fast paced trilogy. I read the first book back in 2010 and I gave it five stars. And I didn't change my rating when I reread it last year because I didn't really feel the need to. I really wanted to leave it because I was in the target audience when I first read the book, but I wasn't now. So I think if I were to rate it now, I would give it four, three and a half, four stars. But back then it was definitely a five. It was action packed. It's about time travel, saving your girlfriend. It was a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to finishing off the trilogy after I've read the second book because I have had this for absolute years. I think this came out in like 2012, 2014. So it's not quite as old as I thought, but still quite old. I have a classic here that I think I read when I was younger. I can't remember what I really thought of it. I don't think I really understood the humour. And that is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'm not sure I'm going to love this one because when I was younger, I... Yeah, I think I was just a bit lost by it, but I do think reading it now, I'll probably get into it more and then I might carry on with the series. If not, then I hope this is a decent standalone and I can finally put my mind at ease. I think this is a series of like five novels and then maybe some short stories or something. Not entirely sure. There is a film for this as well. So I might watch the film after I have read it. I know nothing about this. I've heard no spoilers, which is amazing considering this is really quite old. I also really want to read The First Sister by Lyndon A. Lewis. This is the first in a trilogy and I know nothing about it at all. I keep reading the synopsis and there's just like nothing is like jumping out at me to be able to summarise it but this has very very good reviews so I can't wait to read this one. It keeps going on to multiple TBRs and I keep not getting to it but I do really need to because it sounds like something I'm going to love going by the vibes. I really really want to read Voyage by Stephen Baxter who has written quite a few sci-fi books I believe including some with Terry Pratchett. I've never read any books by him before so I don't really know what his style is like. I just picked this one up because I liked the cover and I keep seeing his books in Waterstone so I went for this one. The tagline is what if John F. Kennedy survived. It says here that a geologist called Natalie York risks everything to potentially go on the first manned expedition to Mars and Rolf Gershon is intent on being the first African-American to reach another planet. I don't know I think this one sounds quite good. I don't know if it's the first in a series or if it's a complete standalone. Either way, I really like space exploration and planet exploration stories, so that's why this is on my TBR. Another one that I really want to read is Satellite. This is an art copy that was sent to me by my friend Nikki because I have an arc from NetGalley that I haven't read from years ago. Please don't comment on that, it's really quite embarrassing. So I don't know loads about this one, I think it's about a boy. Oh, here's the cover. I think it's about a boy who grew up on a satellite and then he has to go back down to Earth or down to Earth for the first time to a place where he has never been before. It hasn't had the, it didn't have the best reviews at the time and I was finding the NetGalley book quite difficult to read so that's why I asked Nikki to send me this art copy because I think it'll be easier to read in physical formats. I also have Ascension by Victor Dixon. This one, I've been told by my friend Judith, is very odd and weird and strange. I think this is probably going to be like a funny older YA book. I have no idea when this one came out, but it says here that it's about the most ambitious speed dating show ever seen where 12 young astronauts must pair up for life in preparation for the first humans to colonise Mars. For being the first humans to colonise Mars. So I'm not really sure what to expect from this one, but it's one that I do want to try to read this year at some point and then maybe continue on with the series. There's another one that I'm also in the middle of and that is Old Man's War by John Scalzi. I'm like 50 pages in. 20 pages in. This is set on Earth where old people can sign up to join the army and go and fight for, I think, a company. In return, they kind of get their bodies genetically modified to be younger. The only thing is they have to sign up for life, which obviously is not good. Definitely not ideal. Yeah, I've only read 20 pages. I've never read a John Scalzi book before, so I'm not really sure what to expect from the vibe, but I love the concept of this. And I know that it's the first in a series. I don't know how long that series is. I think there are maybe like six or seven books. So maybe if I do enjoy it, I can get sucked into this series as well. I also really want to read From Darkest Skies. I was sent this one unsolicited, I think, by the publisher. 
I don't remember buying it. I think it just showed up at my house one day. Or maybe I picked it up at an event. I don't know loads about this one, but from the cover, I think it's about AI and robots and stuff. And that's all I really need to know. I obviously have a lot of space stuff in this pile, but not so much about like robots and sciencey stuff happening on Earth or on like a planet. I'm looking forward to giving this one a go and the writing is huge so I don't think it's going to take very long to get through at all. And then finally the last one on this list but definitely not the last one on my TBR is The Last Watch. This one is about humans who are fighting at the edge of the galaxy in order to save the universe, I think. It says here that the universe is collapsing. The only ones who can stop it are the Sentinels, the recruits, exiles, and court martial dregs of the military. I'm expecting to give this one five stars. I'm not going to lie. This is a five star prediction. I've seen the author on Twitter. I've seen like how people are reacting to this book and it does sound like something I am absolutely going to love and if I don't I'm going to be so upset I might actually cry because this sounds incredible. Again I love space fighty stuff. I love it when people are fighting for humanity's last breath I suppose. It's a thing that I really quite enjoy reading about. And this is the first in I believe a trilogy so if I love this one I'm definitely going to buy the other two books immediately and probably or hopefully marathon this series. So that's my massive list of sci-fi books that I would like to read in 2023. This isn't like a set list, I don't know if I'm definitely going to get to all of them but they're the ones that I'm kind of in the mood for right now and I'm really hyped for. I wanted to give some of them some exposure. Let me know if you would like me to read any of these sooner and review them because I can definitely do that. I'm leaning towards probably reading Semiosis, the first sister and the last watch first so I could do a reading vlog on that but it depends if I kind of get burnout from all the sci-fi we'll see thank you so much for watching this video and I'll speak to you all in the next one please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I hope you have a good day